हेलो एस्पिरेंट्स आई एम मेघना हिच वी फ्रॉम सी एफ टी आर आई सो वेलकम टू द डेली बुस्टर सीरीज फॉर द सी एफ टी आर आई एंट्रेंस एग्जाम ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री सो विल बी डिस्कसिंग द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन पेपर फॉर बूस्टिंग योर प्रिपरेशन फॉर द एंट्रेंस एग्जाम प्रिपरेशन सो विल बी मूविंग ऑन टू द क्वेश्चन सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम द एग्रीकल्चर सो द पेनिसम ब्लॉकम इज द साइंटिफिक नेम ऑफ Uh, the first option is rice second is wheat and third is bajra and fourth is barley so the right option for the question is the bajra that is the scientific name of uh, bajra is uh, panisitum block so for rice the scientific name is oryza sativa and for wheat it is Triticum st1 and for barley it is podium vulgare. So the right option is bajra. Moving on to the next question, the question uh, this question is taken from the botany and the question is the study of interaction among the organisms. and between the organism and its physical environment is so the option is the ecosystem study and the environmental study uh, ecology and the population study so this ecosystem will be uh, dealing with the geographical area of the plant animal and the landscape so their interaction in order to form a web of life so this is not the right option so then the environmental study it's between the human beings and the environment in order to solve a problem and then coming to the ecology it's a right option for this question La, it's a study of interaction among the organism and between the organism and its physical environment so then coming to the population study it's a, a number of uh, individual so uh with a common uh in uh, com- with a common characteristics of uh, uh health condition age or sex so the right option is the ecology moving on to the next question that is the engs modulus is defined as the ratio of so this question is taken from the food engineering so uh, the first option is the uh, the ratio of the strain is to stress and the second option is the ratio of the stress is to strain and the third option is a and b are true and the th- uh, fourth option is a and b are false so the ings modulus this uh, modulus will be made it's a property of a material so it will be uh, like majorly dealing with the how much it can deform a material so this ings modulus it uh, it is a ratio of the stress is to strain so the option b is the right the right answer so then coming to the uh, fourth question that is the next question so two free nucleotides are linked with which type of bond so this question is taken from the food biotechnology that is the first option is the phosphodiester bond and the next option is the peptide bond and the glycosidic bond and the next option is the hydrogen bond so for peptide bond it is a bond formed between the two amino acids whereas the glycosidic bond it's between two carbohydrates it might be a, a carbohydrate or any of the alcohol with the ether and the next is the hydrogen one where we can see in water or in dna strand uh, with a complementary pair so the right option is the phosphodiester bond so this is the right option so it is formed between the three nucleotides that are like uh, that are linked by a, phospho- a phosphodiester bond then coming to the next question this is taken from the zoology and the blood pressure in a human being is so 
the first option is 120 by 80 mm of HG, that is systolic is to diastolic. And the next option is 120 by 90 mm of HG, that is diastolic is to systolic. So next is the 130 by 80 mm of HG, that is systolic is to diastolic. And the quote is 130 by 180 mm of HG, that is diastolic is to systolic. So the right option is 120 by uh, 120 by 80 mm of Hg systolic is to diastolic, where the systolic will be measuring the pressure uh, with the heart, the veins, uh, the pressure exerted uh, during the heartbeat. So and the diastolic will be the pressure that is uh, recorded in between the resting stage of the heartbeat. So. The right option is option A, 120 by 80 mm of Hg, systolic is to diastolic. So uh, these are some of the questions that are really helpful. So stay tuned and uh, do uh, join uh, with the aggregation platform. They have really well crafted the crash course as well as the test series for boosting the preparation for the CFTRI exam. So do follow and stay tuned for further daily booster classes. Thank you.